Tere hommikust, ma taamid ja härrad. Me alustame seminaariga, mille pealgiri Eesti keeles on homse vägi ja mille on korraldanud Eesti Masinatööstuse liit ja ettevõtlus arendamise sihtasutuse ja kreedeksi ühendasutus, mis loodetavasti uuel aastal saab endale sellise uue ja väga atraktiivse nime. Ning seda kõik on heldelt toetamas Euroopa Liidu regionaalarengu fond. See pealgeri homse vägi, ehk Power of Tomorrow, siis kajastab meie veendumust, et need teemad, mis meil on siin täna jutuks, siin on siis meretööstus, siin on vesiniku tehnoloogia ja on ka avamere tuulepargid, et need kombinatsioonis siis töötleva tööstusega võiksid olla see homse vägi, mis Eesti tööstuse lennutab järjest kõrgemale orbiidile. Aga nüüd ma lähen üle inglise keelele. Selle pärast, et meie seminar on selline rahvusvaheline äri ja siis saame enamuse päevast loodetavasti inglise keeles hakkama. Aga ma ütlen siia ette ka seda, et kui on vähegi näiteks küsimusi teil, kui on teil vähegi mingisugused kommentaare, siis Eesti inimesed saavad seda igati ka Eesti keeles teha, saame hakkama. So, now I switch to English. Uh, my name is Eero Raun and I'm representing uh, currently Federation of uh, uh, Estonian Engineering Industry and I'm also entrepreneur uh, in the field of trade promotion and export management. So it's a pleasure to welcome you here and uh, to uh, start with this seminar which we have uh, uh, prepared already for a long time and uh, which has the title Power of Tomorrow, uh, reflecting our belief that uh, these topics which we have to today will be a real power for tomorrow's Estonian industry. Uh, perhaps uh, for a very beginning, I will show some slides. If we talk about the relations, trade relations between Estonia and, uh, and Netherlands, then definitely uh, we have a long, long perspective behind us because these were Hanseatic times when uh, uh, both Estonian and also Dutch cities were tied to Hanseatic League. And therefore, uh, it is a short uh, uh, detail uh, from 15th century uh, that uh, there was a chapel called Roslin Chapel uh, built in Edinburgh, close to Edinburgh, and uh, Father Hay, who wrote in uh, 1700 about uh, the history of this chapel and also about the history of Sinclair family, uh, he wrote that the, these wooden roof and carvings uh, uh, for the chapel actually came from uh, the uh, Eastland, uh, which meant Baltics and uh, most of all Estonia, so wood for this chapel was brought from Estonia via Netherlands and then to uh, Edinburgh. Uh, and uh, this uh, chapel definitely is pretty much well known, I guess, for all of us from Da Vinci's Code, uh, which is uh, the bestseller and uh, film by Dan Brown. Uh, there were some Estonians uh, already in service of Dutch East India Company as well, just a couple of examples from 1663 and 1763, so there were young guys who were having adventures uh, uh, in Cape Town in Southern Africa, but they were serving uh, Dutch East India Company. And uh, nowadays we have the uh, Netherlands as uh, the uh, very important trade partner. So you see here number six is the position for exports and number eight is the position uh, for imports. Uh, and you also see from this table that uh, in regards of uh, imports, uh, last year Russia had the second position, definitely it will be absolutely different nowadays. And uh, I would like to ask to the stage my good friend uh, Thais uh, with whom we have had this uh, solemn idea uh, and uh, we can have a talk first. Why would you do such kind of seminar? Why are we doing this in the first place? Yes. Uh, it's a long story, Eero, uh, but the summary really is that um, 
and someone on TV last week gave me a good hint that reminded me why we are doing this. It was someone from uh, a company that builds um, submarines. And he told me that building a submarine actually is harder than building a spaceship. And these words sank in because I realized that building anything in sea, on the oceans, is basically working in a very hostile environment. And Estonians, as the Dutch, have been always very good at building ships, uh, working with steel and engineering in this hostile environment. And as the oil and gas industry in the last couple of years went down a fair bit, many companies started working with offshore winds. So you and I decided, well, let's do a combination of marine and offshore winds. And then we said to each other, well, if it's offshore wind, we need to involve hydrogen as well, because that will be the next challenge in the, uh, the greenification of our energy mix. Mm -hmm. So that's the short answer. Thijs is a trade commissioner uh, in service of Enterprise Estonia in uh, all three Benelux countries. And uh, he has done for already many years uh, really good work uh, to help uh, uh, Estonian uh, companies to export more and more to these uh, countries. Thank you, Ido. I saw that we still have, uh, as Estonia, uh, a trade surplus of quite a bit, um, which is good. I hope I can only have contributed a little bit to that. So let's keep up the good work. Absolutely. Uh, we will have uh, this uh, agenda today. Uh, and uh, the agenda will lead us uh, to the very solemn end uh, before uh, half past uh, four. So we will have uh, the first session here dedicated to a marine industry. Then we have coffee break. Uh, we can pass through this uh, gate and there is a coffee break uh, hall for us. Uh, second uh, uh, session uh, will be dedicated already for the offshore wind and Thais will be the moderator for that. Uh, then we have lunch uh, out to this hall and then uh, up uh, to the second floor uh, the, on the balcony there is a lunch uh, served especially for us. And after that at 3 o'clock we start with the third session which uh, is dedicated uh, for the hydrogen energy, also moderated by Thais. Indeed. Now, we're very lucky to have uh, a couple of main speakers for those blocks. Um, all three, I can say, are Estonia veterans. Mm. Yeah. The main speaker for offshore wind, sorry, for the marine industry is Peter Korti. Peter, where are you at? Peter is there. There you are. Peter is the managing director and co-founder of SRC Netherlands, which is a joint venture of the Dutch partners and SRC Estonia. Um, for offshore wind, we have Edwin van der Brug, who works for Van Oort. Edwin currently is not here yet. He asked me kindly if he could sleep late. I said, yes, you can, as long as we don't catch you yawning on the stage. Um, Van Oort has a joint venture with uh, Sare Ma Wind Operators called Sare Wind, and they are currently lining up an offshore wind park on the west coast of the island of Sare Ma. And the third main speaker will be Petrus Postma. And Petrus is the founder of Enflux, and Enflux is basically the initiator and founder of the Hydrogen Valley that acts as an example for the Estonian government. So we can say that Petrus is the architect of the hydrogen infrastructure for Estonia.